Hello, I'm Jeff Mason, and uh, I am going to show you today some um, modes of the melodic minor scale. Now, this is uh, a pretty rare sound in my experience. Uh, not a lot of guitarists use this. Um, it's sometimes called the jazz melodic minor scale or the real melodic minor scale. Um, it derives from classical music originally, as I understand it, but uh, jazz musicians started using it um, to improvise over certain chords. Um, and thus, uh, in the 50s, in the bebop movement, uh, musicians like Charlie Parker started to um, use modes of the melodic minor in their improvisations and uh, started to become part of the jazz uh, vernacular, if you will. So, uh, I thought I would demonstrate this. This is also from uh, Frank Gambale's excellent book, uh, Improvisation Made Easier. And um, these are three note per string patterns uh, for extra speed and fluidity and horizontal connectivity. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, we'll start with the chord that uh, is built from this scale. It would be uh, a minor major 7 chord, and it sounds like this. G minor major 7. It's kind of a weird sound. Um, and you may wonder what that's used for. Um, it uh, is used in jazz standards and uh, some classical pieces, I would imagine. Um, but uh, the scale built off of it um, is, is pretty interesting. It sounds like this. That uh, would be G melodic minor or G uh, jazz minor uh, melodic minor. There's a lot of different names for the scale, and it can be kind of confusing. But that is the intervals and the chord. Um, so it basically has sort of a mysterious kind of quality to it. Um, uh, if you had to describe it. Uh, now, what I found especially interesting is that there are modes of this. And to make a really long story short, <laughs> it took me several years to figure this out, um, the melodic minor scale uh, is the same as the major scale, um, except it has one flat. Um, it has a flat third. So instead of, it has, so there's only one note different from your typical major scale. And that means, <laughs> um, this is kind of a leap of logic, but, um, that means that all of the modes derived from the melodic minor are the same as the diatonic modes, such as Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, etc., but with one flat. So all of the modes of melodic minor correspond with the major modes. So there's Dorian, flat 2, Phrygian, uh, let's see, you could call it, uh, you could call it Lydian sharp 5, uh, but it would also correspond to Phrygian uh, something, and uh, Lydian flat 7, which is Mixolydian with one flat, um, uh, Mixolydian flat six, Mixolydian with a different flat, uh, Aeolian flat five, which would be minor with one flat, and uh, diminished whole tone, which would be Locrian with one flat. So, um, like I said, it took me quite a while to grasp this material, but uh, I'll demonstrate it here. So, I guess I'll start with uh, the most common modes that I've encountered of the melodic minor. Um, so that was melodic minor, and this is the I, the fourth mode, Lydian flat seven. And this outlines a seven sharp eleven chord or thirteen sharp eleven chord. So it sounds like that. Had in the triplets, it would be. And um, that's a kind of a different sound. Uh, you can use that, for instance, in a blues progression uh, where you'd have a, some kind of seventh chord uh, sort of going. And you could. That's kind of a, a, a different flavor, and basically, I, again, uh, so as not to get too confused, it would be the same as Lydian scale with one flat, so Lydian flat 7. Uh, this would be the flat 7 interval. 
there, and this would be the Star 5 Nodi Glidia there, so it's just kind of big to it. Um, and, um, okay, the other scale that I found to be the most useful out of these modes is the Diminished Whole Tone, or Altered Scale. Now, this is an excellent scale. I use it a lot in my jazz videos um, that are on this page, and uh, I'll just demonstrate it quickly. Um, and it has kind of a sinister sound at first, but what you will start to hear as you listen to more sort of uh, jazz recordings like, um, you know, uh, Glenn Miller or, uh, or any of the Bop artists such as John Coltrane or Miles Davis or uh, any of those people, uh, they use this scale a lot and uh, they use it not just over altered chords and um, dominant chords but also over major chords as a substitution and so on. So it's interesting to get this scale and transpose it. Um, uh, first of all, it is a um, it's called the altered scale because it contains all of the alterations that you can add to a seventh chord. So if I had a seventh chord, the alterations you can add to that would be the flat nine, sharp nine, flat five, sharp five, flat seven, and various octaves all over the deck. Um, but uh, basically, the scale has all of those tones. So if I was playing a G7 chord, and then I played. That would be all the possible alterations of that chord, including the ever popular 7 sharp 9, 7 flat 9, uh, augmented, sharp 5, and 13 flat 9. Um, pretty much anything you can come up with um, as a 7th chord that would uh, create a lot of extra flavor and spice over that. Um, 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 opening up all of the altered tones available. So, uh, the, the interesting thing um, about this scale is that it's a mix of diminished and whole tone. So it starts diminished, has whole tone, diminished again, whole tone. And so like here would be the regular whole tone scale, like... Um, mistakes, but that's whole tone, and this would be diminished. And if you combine those two scales, um, starting with diminished and alternating um, between diminished and whole tone, you would have a mode of the melodic minor scale. So that seems like a pretty convenient uh, coincidence uh, to me, in that you can have such a dur durable, versatile sound, uh, and it's basically just the same as... A flat major. <laughs> so I was very impressed with that and uh, I've been working with that a fair bit um, and uh, I'll just um, I'll, uh, I'll sort of try and demonstrate the sound that uh, this is used for. Um, so if we had a 7 sharp 9 sort of chord this is a static kind of amp something like funk thing like that you, you could have a 